Any attempt to reduplicate procedures shown in this video could lead to injury or death. Stay safe and watch this video. Hello, hello, hope you're doing well. Today I'm working on these tiny particles, mostly MLCCs, from the nitrate solution of uh, cell phone boards. I separated uh, strong magnetic particles, uh, which contains uh, BME type uh, MLCCs, and this one contains mostly, supposed to contain mostly PME type using this weak magnet you can see the back side of this magnet from the speaker uh, is a weak magnet here is a stronger and this is a strong magnet look at that moving forward and after that something stick here i just tap backward to release the weak magnet and then I separate remaining material. Just look at the way the material attracts to it. It almost attracts everything. Look at that. This is not a good uh, magnet to separate BME and PME type MLCCs for uh, precious metals processing. You can easily remove solder mask see here just by adding some water the solar mask suspend in the solution i washed mlcc several times and you can see it is totally clean no more trace of uh, metastonic acid and other nasty powders it's a good idea to start with concentrated sulfuric acid first to dissolve any plastic and then dilute it down with hydrogen peroxide to start dissolving uh, base metals including nickel. I start adding sulfuric acid to the material here To start dissolve any plastics which is present inside also I want to process this magnetic materials which been separated with a weak magnet to see what we got finally from this material I add sulfuric acid and place it on hot plate I think it's uh, necessary to explain my strategy to uh, process MLCCs and first dissolving base metals in intact form actually if we assume that this is the package of MLCCs here is solder plated and underneath is nickel barrier and then copper or silver and then there is palladium and silver sheets uh, parallel with the ceramic case. That's why I decided to leach with sulfuric acid just before grinding to dissolve base metals. Both solutions are filtered. This is the 
magnetic one and this is non-magnetic I add hydrochloric acid first to the magnetic one look how the silver chloride is concentrated in this solution so don't dispose the magnetic particles without processing them to this one and this one also contains silver and add some rinsed liquid to reduce surface tension Heating MLCC with uh, oxidizing flame might cause some palladium oxidize, hence uh, palladium will not dissolve in nitric acid. So to reduce palladium back to the palladium metal, I spray some uh, ethanol and uh, powder to wet powder completely. Ethanol is an effective way to reduce palladium oxide to palladium metal, but this is a kind of dangerous procedure and may cause firing. There we go, so don't repeat this at home. Magnetic and less magnetic. And now I add nitric acid to both to start digestion. By solution color and uh, sonos chloride test, it seems there is no palladium in the solution, but absolutely there is uh, silver in the solution. So I added some hydrochloric acid to make aqua regia to dissolve any remaining metals if uh, any trace of palladium is present as a last chance. By the consequence of precipitating silver chloride in this initial stage. magnetic batch and this is supposed to be our main batch by observing solution color I can uh, tell you 99% which in the solution we got only nickel metal and this is actually nickel chloride solution and this one uh, there is a dark color dark green color and I think there, there is maybe some gold inside this, but not that much. I want to test solution with Stannous Colorite to give us better idea what we are doing. These are gold foils collected after grinding process, which are not too much and uh, actually doesn't worth to be recovered. I want to precipitate again the silver from ammonia solution. Uh, 
I recovered this from the MLCCs or less magnetic material and this one from the magnetic material and I filtered them after dissolving in ammonia solution. To precipitate silver again, I just acidify solution again with uh, hydrochloric acid first to magnetic one. Look how concentrate it is. To this one. It needs more solution is still blue. Silver from the magnetic materials to convert them to silver metal add some sodium hydroxide and silver turn black and to this one I add some glucose powder and we have silver reduced here so we just need to wash this solution with water this is the silver content from the magnetic materials I add flat now this is sodium carbonate and also I add some graphite powder to prevent oxidizing while melting the bigger one is for magnetic one I will start with this smaller one already some graphite powder and uh, sodium carbonate added Crucible is cracked from this part. I need to get a new one. Silver is solidified, ready to remove. And here is the silver. And the final step is waiting what we got. Here is two silver beads. This was from the magnetic materials. Uh, I think uh, the magnetic material was mostly uh, SMD coil and also the silver, majority of silver was from the oscillator uh, inside the magnetic particles. And this one was from the uh, MLCCs 
and I think it, it is not for the MLCC, BME type MLCC. I think it is from the cylinder shape oscillators which was uh, among the MLCCs. And look at here. First one is about 3 grams. And this one is 0 0.66 grams, about half a gram of silver. And this was the final step of processing 12 kilograms cell phone boards for precious metals. This is the gold and silver recovered in a previous part of video. Let's weight all the silver together. Five point seventy one grams of silver from twelve kilograms of cell phone boards, new cell phone boards, and this is one point five grams of uh, gold from cell phone boards. Finally, we done. Till then, see you next time.